Welcome back to Count Me In, IMA's podcast about all things affecting the accounting and finance world. I'm your host, Mitch Roshong. With me is my co-host, Adam Larson, and we are happy to bring you episode 39 of our podcast series. Most management accountants can relate to the benefits of having a mentor. So to kick off the new year, we have an episode dedicated to mentoring. To start us off, we're going to hear from Olya Kovnatska, Manager of Financial Planning and Analysis at United Rentals in Stamford, Connecticut. She is going to talk us through the benefits of mentoring for a mentee, for the mentor, and how to develop a mentoring relationship. Also during this episode, we're going to jump to a couple of personal stories from different finance individuals who have realized the benefit of having a mentor. So without further ado, let's listen to our conversation on mentoring. In your opinion, what are the benefits of mentoring? In recent years, so much has been said and written about the benefits of mentoring for both the mentee and mentor. Not surprisingly, mentoring has become increasingly popular among successful organizations. In fact, more than 70% of Fortune 500 companies use mentoring to attract, develop, and retain talent, as well as increase productivity. Another interesting fact is that mentoring has also been credited with helping entire organizations cultivate a culture of innovation and inclusion. How so? What are the overall benefits of a mentoring relationship? Say for the mentee first. There are numerous benefits that mentoring provides for the mentee. Where do you even start? By working with a mentor, the mentee receives personalized education that is tailored to their specific needs. Who wouldn't want that? For example, when I was initially looking for a mentor, all I wanted was to find someone who could help me improve my public speaking skills. But later on, when my needs evolved beyond that, my mentor and I developed a new plan. The next benefit is that mentors also provide mentees with the advice and guidance they need to help them define and set realistic career goals, as well as develop strategies on how to achieve them. They also hold them accountable for the results, which I believe is the key to success. And as a mentee, how important is it to select the right mentor to reap these benefits? The right mentor will encourage you to take calculated risks, which ultimately increases both your leadership capabilities and opportunities for advancement. At the same time, they could also save you from making mistakes that could set your career back. When I was looking for an avenue to enhance my leadership skills so I could prepare myself for the next role, my mentor suggested that I join the board of a non-profit organization where I was passionate about the mission. I followed his advice, and after receiving my CMA certification, I got involved with my local MA chapter. There, I gained valuable experiences and skills, which later on I was able to apply at work. To reinforce Olya's summary of the benefits for a mentee in a mentoring relationship, we are now going to hear from Anthony Sperduti, Manager of Financial Planning and Analysis at United Rentals, as he shares a story about the impact mentoring had on him and his career. Early in my career, I faced a difficult situation, and that's when I learned the benefits of having a mentor. When I was a second year staff at the CPA firm I used to work for, I made a pretty significant error on one of our audit procedures. We had just finished field work, and the error would require going back out to the client and re-performing the audit test. I can remember the unsettling feeling of having to go to the principal on the account worrying how he would take it. Instead of chastising me or yelling at me over it, he told me, as long as you work for me, it'll never be your fault. I reviewed the work too. We both missed it. That was a really important lesson for me. Mistakes happen, but instead of making me feel worse about it, the principal helped me learn from the experience, understand how the mistake happened, fix it, and reinstill the confidence I needed to tackle my next job. From that moment on, I sought this person's guidance throughout my career, and still do to this day, despite no longer working together. I attribute much of the success I've had professionally to his mentorship, and hope to emulate the impact he had on me to other young professionals to help them advance in their careers. So before we transition over to the mentor side, do you have any other comments on the benefits of mentoring for a mentee? 
This podcast is not long enough to list all benefits for the mentees. I could go on and on. But if I reflect on my personal experience, I think the most valuable benefit of mentoring is that it provides a positive, but at the same time challenging growth environment, where the mentee can improve their skills and build confidence necessary for their future success. Okay, so now in your opinion, what are the benefits of a mentor and relationship for the mentor? That's a really good question, because I think that the benefits for the mentor are often overlooked. A common misperception is that the mentee is the primary and sometimes the only beneficiary from the mentoring relationship, which is not necessarily true. I read and heard multiple testimonials when mentors cite just how rewarding their mentoring experience has been and how much satisfaction they received when they give back to the organization and the profession they love. They also highlight that helping others grow and develop by sharing their knowledge, insights and expertise has made them better leaders as well, which in turn enhance their opportunities for advancement. By being a mentor, they also earn respect from their colleagues and prestige at their organizations. It's not a secret that the leaders who can develop other leaders are highly valued and sought after. Another benefit that I'd like to pinpoint is that mentors can also learn from their mentees so they can stay current with the most recent trends. That's why the concept of reverse mentoring has been gaining popularity when younger employees are paired with seasoned executives, usually to teach them about new technologies and products. As you can see, there is something in mentoring for everyone. We are now going to turn our attention to Tatiana Corbin, CPA and freelance principal consultant, so we can hear one of her personal stories and her perspective on mentoring. In your professional life, you could become a mentor or mentee even without assuming a formal role. That happened to me. I was lucky. One of my first accounting instructors at a local community college was a welcoming and knowledgeable individual. His name was Mike Lawrence. Mike was both CMA and CPA. He was teaching accounting in a few colleges and universities for over 20 plus years and he also was an IMA board member. I shared my educational and professional goals with him, and as his student, I was able to get his professional guidance. After I finished the course, Mike invited me to the local IMA chapter's monthly meeting. Being new to the country and to the area, I was very excited to meet other professionals. At the meeting, Mike advised and encouraged me to join the local chapter's IMA board of directors. I followed Mike's advice and started attending the board meetings right away. I did not have a specific role for some time, but attended every meeting nevertheless and contributed however I could. Mike believed in me and encouraged me to continue working on my certifications. He's been a very strong positive influencer in my life throughout the years. We would meet a few times a year for a quick lunch or the monthly chapters meetings. I would share with him what I was going through in my professional development, would ask for his opinion and his guidance, and he generously shared his wisdom with me. His faith in me and encouragement definitely helped me progressing further in my professional career. Through Mike's encouragement, I volunteered for almost nine years at the local IMA chapter, including five years of being in charge of the educational program as a VP of Education. Through my volunteering and working with local IMA leaders, I was able to get more informal mentoring and coaching. I also built stronger professional connections and improved my leadership skills. When you look for a mentor or mentee, don't only look for formally organized mentorship programs. Invest your time in building relationships with people around you. When looking for a mentor, reach out to more experienced and successful people at your college, university, your work, and visit local professional organizations to find the advice, encouragement, and guidance you're looking for. Although each organization will have different requirements, you often would need a specific title or expertise to attend their networking events. 
One of the great resources for you are the local IMA chapters, if you have one in your area. By attending the chapter's meetings and volunteering, you will build your network and find the mentoring relationships. So Olya, can you please now share with our listeners how to go about finding a mentor? When looking for a mentor, many of us think of our workplace as the most logical place to start our search. And while having a mentor at work definitely has its benefits and conveniences, I would also encourage you to look for a mentor outside of your organization, so you can take advantage of their independent perspective. For me, it's a similar concept to how organizations select their board of directors. They want someone impartial and objective in their corner, and I believe so should we. My mentor once told me, just like you choose your job wisely, choose your mentor wisely. This has been Count Me In, IMA's podcast, providing you with the latest perspectives of thought leaders from the accounting and finance profession. If you like what you heard and you'd like to be counted in for more relevant accounting and finance education, visit IMA's website at www.imanet.org.